What's going on everybody? Welcome back here Calypso to bring you guys an unboxing of a product that I just got I know probably a lot of you guys seen this product before or if you haven't well This is the first time you're gonna see it. So here it is. So this is a magnetic fret rack made by Riffing Art um, I'm not getting sponsored by there or getting paid by them to make this video. I'm making this on my own so I needed a fret rack for my tank. I do make my own, but the ones that I make only can hold four frags. So right now I got like five in the tank right now. And I'm trying to clear some space. So I needed something more compact where I could put, fit as many frag plugs as I can. And that way I can eliminate some of the ones that I got. So I decided to go with this company, Reefing Art. And they got different sizes. Um, but I decided to go with the medium slim. It's an eight inch by three inches and it can hold at least 16 frets. It has two magnets. So we're going to get to see that in a minute and, and nothing, you know, I just, you know, it was m out of the reviews, the most promising that I like the reviews. So, uh, that's why I decided to go with this one. Let's take a look inside and see what, what it comes in the box. So... Here it is. Oh, it's stuck. Okay. So this is the frack rack right here. So you guys can see it's a, it's a nice size. Like I say, eight inch by three inch. So eight inch long, three inch wide. Has two magnets right here. Got their logo imprinted in the back right here. So it's gonna be facing you. And this paper right here, this is mostly for protection of the acrylic. So you peel it off and then you put it in the tank. So. And things I hear about this fret rack is that the magnet is really strong, so you gotta be careful. And yes, it is strong. Like, oh yeah, it's very strong. So yeah, I'm familiar with this type of magnets. I got some myself for the fret racks that I make. So, but yeah, I mean, it seems it seems really nice. So let's peel, peel this off and and get it ready to get it wet and put it in my tank. So this is how, what you're gonna end up with. Pretty similar to the ones that I made in, in material wise, you know. The DIYs that I make, they are made from picture frame plastic or some type of acrylic they sell at Walmart or, or a dollar store. Um, those 40, they in a 45 degrees um, position. All you gotta do is heat up the back and make it a 90. And pretty much this is what you're gonna get, something like this. So. So what else is in the package? Let's see what else is in here. So we got more products that they can make. So they got the rocks, they got lenses, they got more um, uh, frat plugs. They have more type of frat racks here. They got to rate the skimmer. I get this is some type of either a fish trap or a fish um, holding holding um cage i guess and more of the sizes so pretty cool i would love to try the rock it looked promising it looked natural and what else and some other paper in here and this paper magnetic auto frat rack um, from riffing our team we do our best to protect the customer's aquarium okay warning contains strong magnet keep out the reach of children and then they explain all their size right here that they sell from one plug to etc. So, but yeah, now let's go to the tank and let's put it on and see so how. So here we are in front of the Frankenstein, and this is where I place the frat rack. I'm sorry that I didn't make the vi the video way before when I started taking the the frag racks that I made myself, which this is only two left here. Well, actually two and one. <laughs> That's three. Well, this is the one that I took out. So as you guys can see, that's four, four, four. That's 12 frags that I basically place under this new 16 um, frag rack holder. So it looked nice. I can, I, you know, that I, I can lie. They look nice. Um, you know, very strong uh, magnets. It's, you gotta be careful. I almost basically exploded the tank. I let one go too soon and it did hit the glass really hard so lucky I got I got lucky there 
Um, but it's cool the way they, you know, imprinted their name on the fret rack and, you know, it now it's facing out. So that looks cool. But yeah, guys, so, you know, that's exactly what this fret rack was made for to open more space or I bought it for to open more space here in my frac tank because it was getting crowded. So I'm thinking probably I'm, I might get the others, um, the small one. That I think a whole couple, I was, uh, I didn't look exactly, but I think it's like six, seven. So, or probably half of that, probably eight. So, I'm probably going to get one of those and just put it here also. Um, and that way, I probably eliminate these. But these, I didn't remove them because this frax already has, uh, or this Zoas already has encrusted to the, uh, to the fret rack. So, I mean, the good thing about it is that black part, I could basically lift that up and I can cut it easily so if I want to frag those so they're going to be really close to the uh, new plug so you know that's a, that's a plus the other one on top this one right here this one all these frags here I'm planning to do a giveaway I'm gonna keep announcing that so you guys um, be paying attention or, or you know be in the lookout for when I put that video I'm gonna be giving away these five frags maybe I throw an extra one but you know just bear with me but it's gonna happen so that's why these are staying there they're not going nowhere so but yeah guys so i hope you guys like this video um you know now i got this new fret rack here so a big shout out to reefing art um for making this nice fret racks for for us to purchase and put in our tanks and you know um let, let's see let's see how how it's gonna work the good thing about it is clear so uh the light can penetrate for all these frags in the bottom right here so that's a plus for me and you know that's that's a win-win so another video i'm going to be making soon is in how i did this frag rat right here so you guys can see probably you know think that it's in the ear or glued to the back but it's not it's on a magnet and i'm going to show you guys how this became to be a frat rack you're going to be amazed and i'm going to basically improve that same one that i just did right there so it's cool that i can hold that um, big colony there so all right and probably I could hold a, a, a rock and make a nice natural rock um, to hold frags in the back. All right, guys, so stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. That's the only way you're going to get to see all these videos coming your way. I got more unboxing and more product review that I'm doing and stuff that I'm buying for my tanks. So stay tuned for that also. And be in the lookout, like I said, be in the lookout for that giveaway. So yeah, going to like it. All right, guys, so... Like I always say, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, now is the time to do so. And I see you guys in the next one. Hasta la próxima. Your boy Calizos out. See you guys.